Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with a dinosaur dossier for ARK Survival Evolved. Now, I generally tend to think of myself as quite the dinosaur nerd. Uh, my early childhood was heavily impacted just by dinosaurs. I think the first thing I ever wanted to be when I grew up was a paleontologist, someone who just studies dinosaurs all day. So, I tend to know a lot about these things, and I'm going to try to impart some of my own uh, knowledge into here as well as what the game tells us about these amazing dinosaurs starting with the Spinosaurus Anorreliga. Now obviously people know it as the Spinosaur you may have seen it in Jurassic Park 3 where it was the main predator that everyone had to run from so a lot of people know about the Spinosaur uh, in the movie Jurassic Park 3 it actually defeated a uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, the epic fight of a T-Rex versus Spinosaur now although the Spinosaur is generally larger than the T-Rex it's not necessarily stronger the T-Rex is like just you know packed with muscle and you know massive jaws incredible jaw strength and it, you know it would not necessarily get defeated by a Spinosaur um, Spinosaur generally makes up for you know it, it has a lot of length uh, some of the largest ones found have been up to 59 feet in length and even you know some of the other adult ones are still like at least as, as big as a T-Rex so the fun thing about these is they're actually closely related to uh, crocodilians like your crocodiles and alligators that people may see today and by looking at a picture of a Spinosaurus you can kinda tell that you know you, it's got the long thin jaws it's got you know a lot of other aquatic features to it Generally, they like to, you know, go into the water rather than stay on land all the time. And that's kind of how they, um, do their thing. Now, let's not get carried away and forget about the giant fin on their back. Of course, this fin is very unique to the Spinosaurus, giving it the name Spinosaurus. Um, as you can imagine, Spino kind of gives it the spine thing on its back, which they're not very creative when they name dinosaurs. Saurus means lizard, so it's a spine lizard. But let's move on from that. That's probably been used like same way that Stegosaurus used the plates on their back, or if you know about Dimetrodons, they had a very similar sail, just for a thermoregulation to keep it like you know hot or cold when it needs to be, keep it going there. But let's really look into the dossier and see what it has to say about it. Let's see. In the wild, among the few carnivores on the island that can match the Tynosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus in size, Spinosaurus does not quite match its ferocity. So this just kind of supports what I said about the T-Rex being a little stronger. But obviously you don't want to run into a Spinosaurus. It's still super dangerous. Its four legs and large sail make it fairly swift on land and incredibly fast in water. As you see, this is probably one of the amphibious dinosaurs. It is comfortable in both water and land. In fact, um, up here it says the one comforting fact about the Spinosaurus is that it seems more at home near the water than away from it. While creature is insatiable while near water, it tends to become more docile as it gets farther away from it. On one occasion, I only escaped a Spinosaurus by getting far enough from its lake home to simply make it lose interest. So, in the game, you're only going to run into these guys near water if you run into one in the mainland away from water. You have terrible luck. So, keeping these guys away from the water is the way to survive. If you don't want to run into these guys, stay away from the water. But, unfortunately, everyone's got a drink. So, you may end up seeing one of these guys eventually. Now, while they're domesticated, uh, it says they're a fairly well-rounded apex carnivore. Faster than a Tyrannosaurus in water, obviously, and able to travel on land, unlike a Megalodon. Larger than a Carnotaurus by pretty far. And its all-terrain versatility may be unparalleled. For hunters who wish to have a well-rounded mount, Spinosaurus may be the ideal choice. I definitely see this being one that I'll love to have. Now, you know me, my raptor's my main one if you've been watching my series, but I think the Spinosaur may be the most efficient for travel, going across water, going across land, going anywhere you want and not necessarily needing to worry about any sort of predator. But that's about all I have to say today about this guy. If you have enjoyed this video on the Spinosaur, definitely leave a like on the video. Let let me know any other ones you want me to go over, and I will see you guys next time. Gentlemen showed up just in time. Artemis actually took some damage throughout that whole thing. <laughs> I made sure to fight the Stegosaurus, the two Brontosaurus, and the T-Rex all at the same time. Probably just like a little sliver damage. Oh no, he went half. Oh dang. I was trying.
Trying to get him killed? No, I was trying to have a proof of strength. 